Queen. Round zero. The layer blood of the future, nigga. Drizzy Tay, what's happening? What's good, man? What it do, my boy? Hey, sure. listen. I was just telling somebody the other day, you the hardest working, you know, youngest artist from Arkansas that I know. Yeah. You know, you know how that you know how that make you feel? Man, it made me feel great, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to the, all the people that really support me that got me here. Now, where are you from again? Man, I'm from Camden. Camden, Arkansas, man. Small city in Arkansas. A lot of people probably don't even know this in South Arkansas, but, you know, how long has it been since the last time we met? Like, what, probably over a little over a year? Yeah, a year, year and a half. I was 12. How old are you now? 13. 13? Yes, sir. Man, it's crazy. A lot can happen in a year. I've been, you know, tapping in, watching your page. Let's go on. What when you when you came last time? You was at what, like how many followers on Instagram? Like two thousand, about two thousand. Two thousand. It's funny because I remember you you mentioning something about clout. You was like, you know, you you was viewing social media as as a way to you know to get clout. And it's a year later, and you got like what almost twenty k twenty k followers. And so. What, what what would you say, you know, was different? What's different? It's just, like, the content I was pushing out, you know what I'm saying? And, like, the work ethic, really. And when you mention work ethic, you know, what all that consists of? Like, what's your everyday? You, you, you do go to school, too, don't you? Uh, yes, sir. So, you know, how is that battling homework, school, you know, still doing chores around the house and, you know, trying to get in the studio? Well, I do virtual school, you know what I'm saying, so... You know what I'm saying? I do it from home, you know what I'm saying, with my mom and them, but it's really, you know what I'm saying, get your work done, you know what I'm saying, then have your little playtime, write some music, you know what I'm saying, market, promote, post some, you know what I'm saying, then repeat your schedule. You you said some key things towards the end, you said market and promote, you know, what's some of the steps you've been taking? Uh, Posting, you know what I'm saying, Um, posting every day, that's just one little thing that can just get you more buzz than you already is. One post can affect you. So you'll say you're pretty consistent when it comes to that? Yeah, they're pretty consistent. I mean, what made you? What, I mean, what made you pick that up? Like, what's what made you realize like that's something you needed to do? Uh, my pops drilled it in me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I always told pops like I wanted to be rich off this rapping stuff, and then he was like, "Well, if you want to be rich, you gotta start posting. Like, you don't even post. You know what I'm saying? So, my pops drilled it in me. That was definitely. You know, I seen you drop the hit single with Network. Like, that's one of your hottest songs. You know, since you've been an artist, what was the process of you know making that? Man, the process is, you know what I'm saying? Like any other song, like crazy. Like I wrote it in like 2018, and I had found the beat and the lyrics matched up with it. So just wrote the course to it. We went and recorded it. We snippeted it, then we dropped it in December. Let's touch back in. You said you was what, online, doing school, finishing school online? Oh uh, yeah, I'm doing school online. You know, how was the whole pandemic, the whole coronavirus thing for you? You know, as a, as a teenager, you know, 13 years old, you know, trying to, you know, just trying to make it and then do it on top of this rap school. You know, how how was it when that hit? Man, it was crazy, you know what I'm saying? Um, it was definitely a shock. I thought we was only gonna get out of school for a little bit, you know what I'm saying, go back to the normal ways, but it was definitely a transition. But once I got used to it, I was able to manage school with it and still average all A's and stuff. So yeah, I pretty much did that. You mentioned all A's. Is this something like do is like is there some that it, they just come natural or you work you working hard for that? A little bit of both. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I could do better, you know what I'm saying? But I'm still in there, you know what I'm saying? So. Man, you can't really do too much better than an A. Man. But hey, nah, keep that same, keep that same, yeah. you know, that same drive. That, that shows in your music too. Like, it, I wake up, first thing, you the first name I see. Every every morning I wake up type. It's crazy, man. You got to keep it buzzing. Keep it going. But you know somebody somebody mentioned you was you was having a couple conversations with a couple you know record labels and stuff like that. How did that come about? Uh, that came about like after network. Uh, of course, we had some people hitting us up before network, but like once after network dropped, a uh, couple people start reaching out. People sending contracts over. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Sean Cotton reached out. Lil Mosey's team tried to sign me. T Real team trying to sign me. You know what I'm saying? So it's many more. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, that's just really just how that came about. So who was actually, you know, the first, first big name that actually reached out to you? Probably Lil Mosey's team. Like, they, they reached out the day we dropped the network music video. Like, was it on some genuine, like, making a connect or, like, you know, how that happened? No, nah, not at all. Not genuine at all. At all. 
I mean, you, you mind talking about it? Like what? Oh man, I don't mind talking about it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know what I'm saying? They try to put, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people in this industry try to play the face card. You know what I'm saying? Especially like, you know what I'm saying? Put things in front of you. You know what I'm saying? So they try to like really get us into signing that contract. You know what I'm saying? Trying to put the lifestyle in front of your face and things like that. You know what I'm saying? But we don't easily fall for that, man. So would you say they were trying to, you know, take you a little fast? You know, fast? Yeah, they was definitely rushing it. No doubt about it. Definitely. In, in what ways? Like, go into detail. Like, you know, like, what was the situation? Like, was it, was it, I mean, obviously it was, it was worth, you know, turning down. So, you know, like, what, what was it? You know what I'm saying? The contract was bad. And plus, I just didn't get genuine vibes from him. At first, I was starstruck, you know what I'm saying? Because, like, one of your favorite rappers reaching out to you. I've been listening to bro since he was a kid. So it's, like, kind of starstruck at first. But then you see the real in it. It wasn't great at all. You know, so how what's your relation like now? Do y'all still talk? Y'all keep in contact or not at all, man. He unfollowed me after the whole little situation went down. I unfollowed him and we just kept it from there. What would you say about the experience? Like what did it teach you? It just teach me that a lot of your favorite rapper is, is a snake. He not real. You know what I'm saying? Your favorite rapper is not real. So that definitely taught me to like not expect anything good from anybody reaching out no more till they prove it to me. I was saying, okay, so, you know, out, outside of that incident, do you have any more, you know, industry connects? Yeah, definitely. I'm, I'm tapped in with 2K Baby and his team. We actually got some coming. Um, The Network Remix, he hopped on that. It was all junior love. He's, he's a junior dude. You know what I'm saying? You mentioned a remix, uh, Network. How did that happen? Man, it was crazy, you know what I'm saying? I had, um, back like nine months ago, you know what I'm saying, I had first preview network and then um his manager had hit me up he had seen it you know what i'm saying i think i sent it to him and then he hit me back and we was just staying in contact texting back and forth and then um he told me that network was a hit you know what i'm saying and then after the network drop we just kept staying in contact and he was uh giving me some tips here and there you know what i'm saying and he was like hey bro we can get uh took baby gonna get on that remix so i was like bet you know what i'm saying so he set that up man shout out to him was definitely so did that happen like right away like as soon as he told you like hey we gonna no, nah, def- it was definitely a process, you know what I'm saying? It took a couple months, yeah. Let's talk about your numbers, you know, like, as far as, like, your your music, like, your stats from, it. like, what would you say? Oh, uh, they going crazy, you know what I'm saying? And um, for me to just see them numbers, you know what I'm saying? It's stuff that I didn't used to get. So it's just, I wake up every day thankful and just, you know what I'm saying, every day is, like, living the life I used to want to live, you know what I'm saying? So I'm very thankful and thanks to everybody who ever listened, you feel me?